Bruce Willis. That's his name. Yeah. I totally did not look it up. I just remembered it instantly. So anyway, we're back. And I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Uh, so let's look at the quest log. Oh. Okay. I have to deliver that crazy message to Cartello Sturk, who is not in the castle as I initially thought, but apparently he's in Sturk Manor, which makes sense, I suppose. And I just did a little thing. I'm listening. Little acrobatics. Just cause I can, and it's fun, and it looks cool. I'm amazing. So I guess I'll go up here. I don't care if I'm breaking and entering. I just got to deliver a message of the utmost important. No, I will not. Fuck you. Go ahead. Oh, first it's get out, and then it's go ahead. Will you make up your mind? God damn it, the people on Sturk are such indecisive pricks. You, I have a message from your master. Thanks for finding the helmets. Okay. A message. Okay, that was it. Good day. You can go back to bed now. With that other creepy guy watching over you. It's probably... These books are still here. God damn it. Isn't it like noon or something? Why is he still in bed? Did he get wasted last night? I would try to get wasted every day if I had to live on the island of Sturk. Place is a mess. So I guess the person with the most sense here is actually drunk Tom Albin. Hmm. Who would have thought it? Sarander Paul. Paul. That's a funny name. The message is delivered. I reward you with this gold. Everyone who disturbs my minds with zombies deserves to be punished. You're such a nice guy. Check in with the what now? Take care. I'm going to assume he said check in with the miners, but I don't know for certain. But we shall see, I guess. Uh, let's go into the mine once more. Big old fetch quest feel running back and forth, delivering messages, checking in with the miners, and I swear to God, because I know what's going to happen next. You will see, and I shall not spoil it for you. But it is going to pick up from here. Whoa, what was he doing? He was going crazy. Uh, back into the dark depths of the yada yada. Random stare and quick save because I'm scared. I don't know why nothing's gonna happen. Well met. Do you have anything interesting yes. to say? No, apparently not. You? The ruin, but something needs to be dealt with first. See, I knew it. Fucking errands. He might as well just say I'm going to send you on a fetch quest. <laughs> few errands on the surface. The surface world. Because we live in the underworld. He forgot his logbook. Oh no. I have to do what now? Discussing a voyage with Jafar or Jafan, Somerset Isles. The trip will have to be postponed. Uncle Cassindrion, Elenian something. Report back to me when these important missions have been taken care of. Yeah, sure, I'll just go and save the day by doing little errands for some random hooker I met on the island of Sturk. Oh well, what can I do? When that guy was still tripping balls. Can I go up here? No, I cannot. God damn it. Abandoned shaft? I don't know what that is. I also didn't know what that loading screen was, but it looked cool. It was a giant hall with tombs. I feel right at home. Kind of reminds me of my living room. Um, who's that orc anyway? Is he like the bouncer? If he's not the bouncer of the island, then I don't know. He probably throws people off that cliff that I explored in episode, what was it? 51? 50? I don't remember. When I was trying to look for the goblins. Oh well. What's going on? Uh, are they burning a witch or something? Chapel is on fire. 
The chapel is on fire. And I'm staring at that thing. Oh my god, the chapel really is on fire. Okay. What can I do? Do you know anything about this? No. Good day. They don't seem to care. What can I do? Well, I have a message for you. This guy is so ugly, I can't believe it. <sighs> Whatever. He's too smart to put himself in a situation he can't handle. You too. Does anyone know anything about this chapel burning thing? Have you seen the graveyard? Oh, this guy still hates me. Because I told on his wife about his drinking problem. What can I? Is this the work of Umaril? Because he has the tendency to try and burn chapels down. But Nobody has anything interesting to say about this chapel burning thing. And that's kind of funny. They're all just staring at it, but they don't really give a fuck. They're just like, oh, something more exciting than the normal rut of the day. Because they're always doing the same thing anyway. It's like, oh. Oh well, time to get on with my pointless errands. I guess I'll just ignore the fucking flaming chapel. And just do these silly little errands, like getting a book and closing up some guy's shop. Here we go. Why did I stop and talk to you? You're uninteresting. Guess I go to Chiffon, or whatever the fuck his name is, I don't know. This guy, the guy in the red shirt over there. He's gonna talk to that bum, I think. How do you do? Oh, I can see him to the future. How about that? I have a message, Mr. Huge Underlip. Oh, that was kind of racy, wasn't it? No, it was not. Because he has a huge underlip. Who cares anyway? A coin for an old beggar. That grass looks so bright when it's snowing. It's like neon grass or something. I swear to God, this island is just radioactive or something. I just know it. If that Thorander Paul guy is not Mr. Burns in disguise, then I don't know who is. Maybe this guy. Nah, he's too stupid. He is stingy, though, with the gold, especially. Okay, now it's time to find the logbook. God knows where that is. I don't think it's in the display case. That would be kind of stupid. Uh, that's not his log book. It's not there either. It's not in the cupboard. Um, is it that? No. Gotta make sure, but no. That's not his log book. That's a scroll. Scraps of paper. Magic from the sky. No, those are not his log books either. God damn it. I don't know where it is. Fuck my life. His log book. Yeah. It's probably going to be a while till I find it. Because I was dicking around here trying to find it. And I couldn't find it. It's on a really stupid place too. It is. Am I going to find it now? Or am I going to dick around some more? No, I'm probably going to find it now I think. Yep, there it is. Up on that shelf. Uh, I don't know why they have to hide it so well. That's kind of annoying. And now I just got to lock up the shop. Like that. Funny how that works. Uh, was that the last errand? I think it was. Guess I can go back to the mine now. I'll just ignore the flaming chapel once more. Oh, back into the mine once again. At this point, it's really starting to feel a lot like a big, you know, running back and forth thing. I think, I'm not sure if that was the last time I had to leave the mine. I think it might be, but... Yeah, I actually think it is. I think after this, we're going to head down into the ruins and um, explore it, which is fun. It's... A good part. Hey, look, it's Bambi in the loading screen. Oh, my God. Still tormenting me to this day. That looks also cool. It looks like an alien to dam or something. What is it now? What? Did I just say to dam? I finished everything, yes. Marks wanted to talk to you. You know, why didn't they call him Mark? Why not? Why Marks? Are there more... 
Mark, plural. I don't know. Where's Marks? Oh, there he is. Some of the miners have done a bit more digging around that strange door. I thought you might be interested. They found that they found that they found another one. Come with me, and I will show you. Okay. Does anyone else notice that his body is almost like red, and his face is just normal? Oh wow, that wasn't here five seconds ago. They must have done a l quick digging and built like reinforcements in less than five seconds. God damn! Look how much digging they could did in like five seconds. Those are the best miners I've ever seen. I don't know what that guy's always complaining about. They do a good job. So here's another door that we can't go into. What can I do? And take care. Yeah. You cannot go in Vasatarnib or something, or however it's called. The door is blocked. Yes, of course. Uh, I guess I'll go back to the brothers. It's not the quest log, but I, I guess I'll just Bye. go there like a pro. This guy? No, this guy. Come quickly, Elenia and I found a secret passage. Oh, finally. Goodbye. It was about time that you unearthed that little door. A peculiar tablet. Speech becomes silence. I'm not entirely certain what that means. Good day. What it means is that you have to stop talking. Basically what you've been doing all along, because this is a mod and there's no voice ch uh, voice files. Some mods have voice files, but they're usually pretty terrible. Like Castle Raven Pride. Well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. Goodbye. But sometimes I have to wonder if those people are actually trying to sound disingenuous about their voice acting thing. I touched the tablet in my that the brothers found. The tablet cast a silence spell on me. Fuck. Now I'm boned. I'm nothing without my spells, and why is there an ominous light there? Oh my god, it's fire! So hot. Ooh. Nanoke is sweaty. That's disgusting. What am I talking about? Fire resistance. Yeah, I don't know anything about fire resistance. Good day. What can I do? A little puzzled about this thing. Rumors? Way rest. Good day. Uh, is this like a test of faith? Like the fire actually doesn't hurt? I think so. So let's just run through. Any minute now. Um, saving, of course. It's not a test of faith. It's actual fucking fire. And it just killed me, which is just great. Yup. End of Let's Play. Probably not, though. I'm just going to try again. The way I'm going to do this is I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm pretty sure there's some other way to do this, but the way I did it was uh well, you'll see in a minute what I'm going to do. It, it's going to be really stupid. I'm just going to run through like an idiot, and then I'm just going to spam potions. I'm pretty sure there's a better way of doing it because what about people who don't have potions? Are they coming too? No. Uh Oh god. Those perverted aliens. They've made Nanoke naked. I can't believe it that they would do such a thing. It is preposterous. Yeah, stop Go oogling ahead. me for God's sakes. God damn it, perverts. Wealth becomes poverty. Fuck these guys. Avert your eyes, please. Goodbye. I feel so violated and abused. And I'm saving for some fucking reason that I can't remember. And I want to make a new save, because it's much more safe. And I totally didn't do a jump cut just there. Um, I totally did. And there's a locked gate here, but I didn't have locked picks. I turned off the nude aspect of my body mod, because I'm getting sick of all these moments where... Go ahead. Uh... He's going to open the gate. I'm getting sick of all these moments where I have to censor out the nudity and whatnot. So I basically turned off the nude mod. So, Well, I didn't turn off the nude mod. I just changed it to the underwear setting. 
This is Nanoke's back. She's got nice tattoos. I like it. Here's another tablet. I dread to find out what this one will do. Uh, light becomes darkness. Oh, no. I can't see anything. Light becomes darkness. It didn't do anything. The tablet must have blinded you. Oh, you think? Thanks, dude. The next room is full of traps. Yeah, not looking forward to that. Ah, damn. Yeah, this really sucks. Uh, it's not my fault that this next part is going to be a lot of darkness, but this this really sucks too, this part. I'm not a huge fan of this. Like, basically you're blind and you have to follow their directions. The only help you get is just like your, uh, your crosshair will show you like if you're facing a wall or something. One thing that comes to mind is, like, why didn't it occur to me to, like, look at my map or something? Like, my local map. But, apparently that did not occur to me. I don't even know if that works, but... I have to leave. He has to lock up. Bugged speeches again. Uh, there's a lot of traps in this room, too, so it really sucks. They say something about northwest and stay close to the wall, but... It's really hard to follow their directions. Uh, mostly because it's hard to tell, like, when you're, when they tell you, like, go, go right or left, you don't know if they mean my right or their left, and, you know, sometimes they're facing a different direction or something, so, not big on this part, to be honest. I'm probably going to dick around with this a lot. Uh... I like the idea that it's not just another dungeon where... Oh, back at the I tablet. I like that it's not just another dungeon where you're just going down in hallways, killing zombies, doing this, that. You know, it's it, it's something different. I like that, but... They probably shouldn't have implemented this in a game where the AI is not particularly uh, good. So, I'm not a fan of this particular section. There are Welkin stones that kind of light the way. But, I didn't think I'd take falling damage from that, but there's a trap, as you can see. There are, like, uh, floors that push you into spikes. And I rest because I want to get my health back, because if I get hit by another trap, I'm dead. And, and see, they say, like, backtrack a little bit. Like, yeah, you know, how am I supposed to fucking backtrack? I don't know where the hell I came from. I don't even know where the hell I am. And I picked it up for some reason, as I'm a dumbass. And here you can see that I've got panties and underwear installed now. So I'm trying to use this to illuminate the way, which is not working out as I th planned, because there's a pit here or something. Like, there's blackness, and I don't know what it is. But, uh, yeah. I, I just try to use these, as I'm pretty sure they intended you to. That's a trap, I think. They say things like you're very close to... Oh, shit. They say things like you're close to a trap, but... I still found it hard to find anything, really. And it was mostly just guessing work, to be honest. To Ow. If you see blood on the floor, that's most likely a trap. Um, and those guys are unconscious. A good thing th it's a good thing they can't die, though. But You're getting close to a trap on your left. Okay. Guess I'll go right then. I have no greeting. Oh, wow. That's cool. Why did you talk to me then? So, it, it's a lot of guessing work, and the way that I eventually did this is basically just a lot of guesswork, and I just got really lucky in the end by finding it. But I'm, I, sh I do think that the green arrow points to where you have to go. I did die here once, though, the first time I was here, but I did edit that out. But I did die here once. Because I was just not prepared. And I did not know that falling from the uh, trap, like, when it 
it's about to slam you into the spikes on the ceiling if you jump off. I didn't think you would take so much falling damage. But apparently you do. And then I died, but yeah. It's also annoying how they keep spamming you. And that face is really scary in the darkness. If I was supposed to be blinded, then why can I still see Welkin stones? I don't know. I guess my eyesight is just really bad instead of just gone. Oh shit. Welcome stone. I don't know how long this is going to take to be honest. I have to yeah. keep talking about nonsense. Good day. I could fast forward this part but I don't want to. Step a bit to the right. Yeah okay I get it. I'll step to the right. That's Mark's. <laughs> I stepped to the right and there was a trap there. God damn it. Heal again, because I don't want to die. Uh, where shall I go? I guess I'll walk slowly. You see those dark parts? I never know what's there. You're almost there. Turn right and head southeast. Okay. Southeast. What? Oh, that way? Well, there's bound to be some traps along the way, right? Apparently not. Oh, am I making it? Am I... I can see a tablet over there. Is that the next one? No, this is the wrong way. God damn it. Uh, okay. I lost sight of that tablet. Or is that it? No, that's a Wilkin stone. I thought I saw a tablet just a while ago, but apparently I didn't. Turn right and head southeast. Yes, I'm trying to if you just would stop interrupting me. <gasps> I think it's not much longer, though. Ow. Poor Nanoke getting smashed to the ceiling all the time. She's not even wearing any clothes. We're awfully close to a trap on your right-hand side. Still, I would love to go back to that place right now and find out if you can just look at your local map. Because that would be a big help. Something tells me you can't, though, but... I don't know. I think this might be the place. Maybe. But there's a second stage of this blindness thing, though, and that's even worse. Oh, I think I found it. Oh my god, what was that? I touched the fourth tablet and there was a crash. I'm alone? I'm not alone. When I first read that, yes. I thought that the crash killed my teammates, but apparently it did not. I think what it's supposed to suggest is that you've been... you're deaf now. And basically, you're in... You, where you are now is like a narrow hallway, and there's there's gonna be blades soon, as you can hear. See, there's like the swinging pendulum blades. And um you basically just have to use your hearing to avoid them, which I guess <laughs> ow. Kind of nulls out that idea that that fourth tablet deafened you, but I don't know, it must have done something. Here I think I just got lucky because I'm just running and I could have easily died, but I didn't. I can't tell if I'm still running forward or not. But the video is almost over. Very soon. Um, so yeah. See you next part.